In this video, we'll look at the new ASI Air Plus from ZWO. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, Nick here from Windy City Astrophotography. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the new ASI Air Plus from ZWO. And I wanna give you a quick rundown of my impressions of it over the past few weeks imaging uh, with my uh, light polluted skies here in Chicago. Now I was chosen as part of the ASI Air Experience Officers Program. So I got a little bit of an early release on the Plus uh, with the promise of releasing an honest review. So that's what this is intended to be. So first off, the Plus is very similar in form factor to the Pro. It's a little bit lighter and they say it's smaller. Now it is thinner, but it's a little bit longer and a little bit wider. So I guess they took the, the Pro and kind of squashed it a little bit. Uh, in any case, it's no real big change, but a slightly smaller profile on your setup. Now the biggest change, as you just look at the Plus, is the addition of the external antenna. I will say this goes way beyond just a cosmetic change. This really enhances the experience using the ASI Air Plus versus the Pro, which I'll get to. There's also the addition of LED lights by the power outlets that indicates which ones are using power. I was curious to see how bright these are and I'm happy to report they're not too bright. If you're out imaging and uh, maybe you're in a dark spot, your eyes are dark adapted, they're easily seen but they're not going to adversely affect anything like your dark adaptation or your imaging. So using my Celestron Rasa, I have my ASI Air Plus on the back of the top rail. So I just have it secured there with Velcro straps, kind of tightly holding it to the top rail. It's not the most secure, but it's worked well so far. With the Pro, I had actually had it attached with Velcro, both on the Pro and then on the top rail. Those were stuck together. It worked pretty well. I was able to change the orientation as well when I was dealing with some of the Wi-Fi issues with the Pro but I think it's probably now finally time for me to take the plunge and get an actual mechanical adapter where I can attach the Pro or the Plus at this point to the top rail. So of course with the Rasa, the camera is mounted at the front. So I have a 3D printed cable router that's running the power cable from the imaging camera, the USB 3.0 data connection from the imaging camera, and also the USB 2.0 input for the guide camera. And then from there, the imaging camera USB goes into the ASI Air Plus. Now, make sure you're putting it into a blue 3.0 slot. This is one big difference between the Pro and the Plus. Maybe not actually a big difference, but a definite difference. The 3.0 and the 2.0 slots are swapped on the bodies as far as where they are in relation to, say, the Ethernet port. Now, as I say, not a huge deal, but if you're used to a particular orientation there, and maybe you're setting up in the dark and you're just doing it uh, sort of by rote muscle memory, it is a difference there. So make sure you're paying attention and double check your connections. You definitely don't want your imaging camera attached to a 2.0 USB slot. And then from there, I connect the USB from my electronic auto focuser or EAF. That goes into one of the USB 2.0 slots. And I've also got my thumb drive in there for storage. Now this was something I kind of did by muscle memory. However, one of the big upgrades for the Plus is the 32 gigs of onboard memory that you can use. Now there are some pluses and minuses here. A thumb drive is easy to take out and plug into your computer. If you're accessing the onboard memory, you need to have the ASI Air powered and then connected with a USB type C to a USB type A. Now that's not a huge deal, but it is a little bit of an extra step. So something to keep in mind there. But the big benefit here if you're using that onboard memory is freeing up a USB slot on the ASI Air Plus. So if you can't or don't want to route your guide camera through your imaging camera, or perhaps you've got something like an electronic filter wheel that you want to be able to plug in as well. And prior to this, you were maybe short a USB slot on the Pro. Well, with the Plus, you can free that up by not using that USB stick. So it's a benefit there for sure. That might be a, a big benefit for you in your setup. And then the final USB slot on my setup here is the mount connection. I'm running a iOptron SEM40 mount. And then we power on the ASI Air Plus and away we go. Now my first time out with the Plus, it was pretty much effortless. I was very used to the Pro and it worked just as well, if not better than the Pro. And I was actually surprised to find that it worked a lot faster than the Pro for some of those small but very important tasks like 
polar alignment and the guiding calibration, electronic autofocusing, uh, even the beginning of slewing to a new object, the plate solving, each of these went faster with the Plus than with the Pro. Now for me, I set up and tear down each time I image. So saving some time there is pretty huge. I can generally go from uh, looking out the window and saying, oh, it's clear, I should set up, to being fully ready and actually getting the first full images. That's about 30 minutes from start to finish. Now with the Plus, shaving five minutes off of that, that's definitely worth it for me. Anything I can do to make setting up easier is definitely a benefit. Okay, so now we come to the biggest improvement, and it's the most obvious as you look at the ASI Air Plus, that Wi-Fi antenna. This changes it. We finally have the Wi-Fi connection that we wanted with the Pro, and now we have it with the Plus. Now, when I was imaging with the Pro, I had the Vonetz extender attached to that. Generally, when I set up, I'm about 15 feet away from the front of the house, or up to about 60 feet. That depends on which part of the sky I'm imaging and what I want to be visible. With this setup here from 60 feet away, I was able to get signal. It wasn't a complete dropout, but I wasn't able to get images on my phone very quickly, and in some cases, not at all. Some nights it just wasn't, I was not able to get those images. Uh, now I could still follow the guiding and things like that, things that were uh, definitely not as much data coming through. Now the Plus changed that, I will say. Now right out of the box, working even from that 60 foot distance and through a window and a little bit of a wall as well, uh, it was working great. I was able to get images very quickly as long as I was close to the window. Now as I moved inside the room or especially anywhere else in the house, uh, the signal was quite a bit worse. However, the thing that really changed it for me was using station mode. Now this is something I tried to do with the Pro. It's essentially hooking up the Pro to be feeding through your home Wi-Fi signal. So as long as your device, maybe your phone or your iPad is connected to your home Wi-Fi, you're able to connect to the Pro through that. That never really worked for me. It was intermittent, it would drop the signal constantly, and even when it did work, it was not particularly fast. It wasn't a huge improvement over trying to use the signal from the, the uh, ASI Air Pro itself. In the case of the Plus, right out of the box, it worked. I used the 2.4 gigahertz connection to my home Wi-Fi, and immediately I was able to get almost instantaneous images coming through, checking in on the live stacking, and of course all the other functions that happen on the ASIR Plus. So this was huge. I was able to sit on my sofa and watch a movie with my wife, and monitor on my security camera, and also on the ASIR Plus, making sure that everything was working just fine out there with the astrophotography setup. So huge improvement there. Now I know some of you are hooking up an actual ethernet cable to the ASI Air Pro. In that case, you're not gonna see a big improvement. Maybe no improvement at all. You've already got the absolute fastest connection there, at least for me, or in the case of if I'm going to a remote location and I don't have that ethernet option, this is a huge improvement having that much better Wi-Fi signal on the Plus. So overall, what do I think about the new ASI Air Plus? I really like it. Uh, the improved Wi-Fi signal and also the better speed in just some of those simple tasks setting up, improving my setup time for astrophotography, that's huge. That is definitely worth it for me. So I'm definitely happy with the purchase and I'll be sticking with it. Now for some of you, if you are already using a network connection with an ethernet cable, it may not be worth it at that point. Uh, perhaps some of the other benefits are there for you and perhaps you would want to uh, spring for it. Now, if you don't currently have an ASI Air anything and you're thinking about getting into it, I would certainly recommend the Plus, as long as your camera is compatible and, of course, you're willing to get into that ZWO ecosystem of devices. It is just amazing. Now, if you already have the Pro, should you get the Plus? The main factor there, I would say, is how you currently connect to it. If you already are running it on Wi-Fi and going through some of those headaches, I would say yes, definitely get the Plus and enjoy the benefits of that antenna. If you're running the Pro connected to an Ethernet cable, then the benefits of upgrading are honestly a lot smaller. You'll have the internal memory, faster tasks like plate solving and guiding calibration, but you're already getting the best connection possible running the cable, so you're not going to see a huge improvement there. So I definitely like the new ASI Air Plus. I'm going to be moving forward with it in my astrophotography setup. I'm planning a video on a full walkthrough, a full setup, all the calibration you need to do to get the most out of your ASI Air Plus, so look out for that. But if you found this video useful and you think it might be useful to others, definitely give it a like and also subscribe to Windy City Astrophotography. Clear skies, and I'll see you next time.